Without having the right processes in place, sometimes being too generous with your employees can have a negative impact on your business. The customer reached out because they had an employee who was having some health issues and needed to take a leave of absence. Unfortunately, the employee had already exhausted all their PTO and the employer had granted them a few weeks of leave without putting any documentation in place. The issue with this situation was that it had never been certified by a medical professional. So in order to follow ADA guidelines, they needed to complete that step to certify the employee's leave. The employee continued to take time off and continued to delay their response and say that their appointments were getting pushed. The business kept waiting for the employee to return. They were being incredibly generous and paying additional time off while they were out, but were coming to the end of themselves financially in that situation. This put a lot of stress on the business. So once the client reached out to me, we talked about the next steps. What this looked like was having them contact the employee to get the medical certification form completed by their physician. So we set up weekly calls and chatted in between so that we could make sure that each time there was a development, we were on the phone or chatting through the situation. With an ADA leave request, things can turn at any fork in the road. You never know which direction it's going to take, so you can't predict too far. So we had to stay in close contact for a few weeks while we were working through the situation. One thing that can go wrong if an employer makes a mistake in the process is they have to go back and start the leave from the time that they fixed it, not the time the employee was originally off. And that can lead to tons of additional costs like extended paid time off, uh, other employees having to fill the role, the business being without that person can be a real complication. By the time the employer reached out to me, they had already made additional commitments to the employee and they'd already been out for several weeks. So without having a defined process in place, the employer finds themselves handling each request differently, which then could open them up to a discrimination claim if it's not managed well. In this situation, they did end up parting ways with the employee, but we were able to do it in a way that was compliant for them and allowed them to have all the documentation in place so that they could support their business decision. This alleviated so much stress for them as that was their primary concern. How do I let go of a person who's on a leave? The lesson here is contact your HR manager as soon as something out of the ordinary happens. When you understand your rights and responsibilities, you can make better decisions so that you can be generous and care for your employees and also take care of your business. And that's why I love being a Bambi HR manager because I help business owners make better choices.